How's it going everyone? Here's another uh, super quick tutorial type thingy. A lot of people ask me, not a lot, some people ask me, what's like the first thing I do when I start up Procreate? How do I get here? How do I get there? What brushes I use and all that. So I'm gonna show you guys the first thing I do when I'm creating a new art piece. So as soon as you open up Procreate, this is what you're gonna see. This is basically your gallery or whatever. Um, and then you're gonna press a plus on the top right. So here's where you choose like what canvas you want. Um, screen size is cool, square is cool, 4K is pretty cool. But the one that I use for like everything, I made my own canvas. I made it 3000 by 3000 and the DPI is 300. I'll show you how to do that. You just press this little plus underneath this big plus and then you're gonna make the uh, width 3000, the height 3000 and the DPI will be on 300. And then we have the maximum layers. We have 250 maximum layers. Actually, no, we don't. Boom, we have 70. I had that on 300, should be 3,000. 70, that's, that's enough. I only use max layers, I'll use probably like 10. Then you click create. And the reason why I do square for everything is because uh, I mainly post to Instagram. And when you post on Instagram, it's basically, you're, you're just gonna see the square. Um, I'm probably gonna start changing that up though, start doing like wider images. I just like the way they look more. It's just on Instagram, it doesn't really work. But anyways, here's what I usually do. I go to my brushes and then I have my own custom brush I use for sketching. It's called the Based Sketcher. It's like a mix between the technical brush, which is a, a stock brush, and then I just change up the the edges and some of the texture so I'll show you how to get to that brush you go to sketching and then you go to technical pencil see and this is a this is the actual technical pencil that comes with the procreate but it's like too skinny the tapers too weird I don't, know, I don't really like the stock one if you push down hard it gives you a good uh, feel but that's what I use to start off my sketches. And then if you want to just erase like that, if you want to clear a layer, so say you're drawing and you're going to erase, it's taking too long, right? To get everything, you just three fingers and like swipe left and right and it'll uh, erase it all. After you got your sketch, let me just get, let me just make a quick little sketch. Okay, so after you got your sketch, um, if you want to do better, like more details, you come over here on the left side right here. You can make your brush smaller or bigger. And then the bar underneath is the opacity. So if you turn it down, you have a light brush. If you turn it all the way up, you have a dark brush. So that's what you do there. And then after I have the sketch, I click on the two little papers on the top right. That's the layers. And I make a new layer above that layer. So then I go back to my sketch. You could rename it. I'm gonna rename mine just for the uh, video. I don't usually rename them because I ain't got time for that. But I'll name it the sketch. So once you have your sketch layer, you tap on your sketch layer. Um, on the part where you see the little N right there, that means normal. You tap on the N and then you lower the opacity down. Do it like 40. Go back to the layer above. I'm gonna rename it to inks. Okay, and then once you got your inks, click on the little, you see I got like a little red circle on top right, that's your color picker. I'm gonna put it on black. Then I'm gonna tap on the brush, and I'm gonna click on the inking category. And my favorite brush is a syrup brush. This is stock with Procreate. It just gives it like a nice, thick to thin, um, thick to thin look so if you have a uh, drawing you want to make it thick to thin I like this one but also to undo you just two finger tap so if you draw a line and you mess up you just tap the screen with two fingers boom but uh, I'm gonna use the uh, studio pen that's also a stock brush I've been using this one the past couple days and I kind of like it so when you have your studio pen it'll probably be like let me turn this in. I'll show you how to get here. Uh, when you have your studio pen, it'll probably be like 
stock won't have no streamline so when you draw and you're trying to get like a perfect you see how it's like wobbly you're trying to get like a perfect stroke you could just do it fast like that just draw a fast line but i feel like that's hard sometimes so uh what i do is tap on the brush again then i tap on the studio pen and right here was a streamline i turned that like all the way up Sometimes I have it halfway, but if I'm trying to get super crispy lines, I turn it all the way up. And that's how you get crispy lines. Also, if you're fast too, if you draw fast lines, that's also how you get fast line, or that's also how you get crispy lines. So if you're fast, plus you have streamline, it's good. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go slow now. And look, them things is crispy. Crispy lines. Look at that, mine. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. Once you have your lines done, right? You go back to your sketching layer, click the check mark right there, boom. Now your sketch is gone. And then you're gonna make a new layer and drag it underneath the inks. Let's rename this one to colors. Doom, doom, doom. Colors. <laughs> okay, so go back to your ink layer. I want his eyes to be black and his eyebrows to be black. So what I'm gonna do is tap on my color and then drag and drop it onto the eyebrows like that. But you have to make sure your line work is like closed off. So you can't you can't do this. And you see how there's like an opening right there? If I wanted to drag and drop, it wouldn't fill the circle. It would fill everything. So you have to make sure it's closed off so you just fill that shape, okay? I see a lot of people ask me how do I do that or that they tried it and it doesn't work it's because their lines are not closed off all the way and also if you're using like a sketching pen like it's closed off but see it still um fills so if you're using a sketching pen and you want to fill you just drag and drop and hold don't let your pencil go and then slowly move it to the left and you see at the top where it says threshold you just want to lower the threshold so it doesn't fill the whole canvas but if you have like uh, an actual inking pen, you want the threshold to be like all the way up as much as you can. So I'm gonna drag it onto the eyes and I'm gonna turn the threshold up as much as I can. I'll probably get like 99. Yeah, 99 on the eyes because we have solid inking lines. Uh, I'm also gonna do his hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the color layer and I could just get a color and I could um, pin it. I could like slowly ink this whole thing or fill in the colors let's see how long this would take if I just want like this and fill in the colors and then I would drag and drop fill it in okay you do it like that or erase erase you can go back to your inks tap on it and put on reference okay so then you go back to your colors and you just drag and drop anywhere and it just fills up wherever there's a closed off area so like boom and then like the teeth so yeah so if it's all closed off you can fill it in so it's like if i remove the lines everything's filled in where the lines are closed off but again you have to make sure your lines are closed off because if there's an opening it'll just fill up everything <laughs> so then i'll go back here i'll get like another color like red make his hat red and make his teeth white okay and then once you got this you could add like shading. The way I add shading is uh, I'll 
hold my finger down on the skin color just hold it down and it'll color pick you see that or you can tap on this little square over here on the left underneath the brush size tool and it'll bring up the little option and you just tap it but I just like holding my finger down on it I don't know it seems easier to me uh, once I do that and then I go to my color picker bring the hue towards the red a little bit like just a tad and then I bring the little color picker to the right and make it like a little bit darker so when I add a shadow I could just um, start coloring them in right but you see how like my shadows like going outside of the lines that's because I didn't lock the pixels on my color layer so I'm gonna undo that go back to my layers and then you could either hold two fingers and then swipe right on the layer and now you see it has a checkerboard behind it that means that it has locked pixels so if I try to draw outside the lines it won't let me draw outside the lines you can also just tap it and put on alpha lock same thing so now if I try to draw outside the lines it won't let me so I can go ahead and add some shading and my source my light source will be on the right so the left side of his face will have a shadow and then underneath his hat he'll have a shadow and I like to give a shadow to his ear so then we need to do the red sh uh, shadow so I'm gonna hold my finger on the red and then put the hue a little bit towards purple almost and then make the color darker and I'm gonna get underneath this hat right here And then we're going to do the left side of his hat. And then there we go. That's how I do that, basically. And then when I would do highlights, I talk about this a lot, like on stream and stuff. I'll make a new layer above my inks, put the layer on, add, and then pick like any color. It doesn't matter what color. I'm going to go with like a purple. And then everywhere on the right side, there's gonna be like a rim light. You're gonna put a rim light down. Like that, just on the edges of this, the right side. And then there you have it, a rim light. But if you're drawing on a canvas that doesn't have a, a white background, you'll notice something. When I tap on my layer and I put the background color to like a darker color you can see that the highlight is kind of sticking out out of the uh, line art so what you do is tap on your highlight layer and put it on clipping mask so now it, it'll clip to the layer below it so if your color layers below it the highlights won't pop off of the color layer which is dope another thing I do when I draw is uh, the line art I do an alpha lock and I'll get like the skin color, color pick it again, where you hold your finger down, and then I will uh, get like a reddish tone, almost black, about right there. And I will color in his, anywhere the lines are touching his skin, I'll color in. So now that looks a little bit better, but also color pick red, or we'll color pick this dark red. Make it almost black. And you can go ahead and do that too, do the red color. Just so it's not a solid black. And that's basically how I ink, shade, and highlight. Now, before I finalize my art, I usually duplicate my inks and then tap it. Make sure it's off of alpha lock. Then you go to your effects. I'm gonna tap on Gaussian blur. And then you grab your pencil, tap the screen, and hold, and then slowly go to the right. You see how it's getting like super blurry? Left, right, right, left, 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 right, 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 left. So I put mine, I scroll to the right about, I would say four. And then you tap on the brush. And that's basically what I do it for every drawing. So if I take that layer off, that's how it looks. And then when I do my effect, 
that's how it looks afterwards. So that's basically what I do start to finish a super quick drawing example. Uh, the brush I start off with, the inking pen I use, how to get to those areas, um, the effects tab, the canvas size. Uh, this is just a quick basics on how I started drawing. If you guys need help with anything else or any, if I missed anything you guys think I missed, uh, please let me know. I will tell you guys everything. There ain't no secrets here. And if you want to come to my stream, check out my stream. Ask me questions there if you want, like, quick questions. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific time. That'd be really sick. And thank you to everyone who became a Patreon recently. Um, if you didn't know, on Patreon, I, get, I have my own custom brushes, which is this pack right here. These are all custom brushes that I made. They're all based loosely on uh, Procreate brushes that I already made, but I, like, change them up to be custom for me so if you want to check that out patreon link below and also if there's any more tips you guys need please let me know sorry if this video is super long i hate making long videos because i know tutorials you just want to get in and get out but this one was more of like a breakdown of the basics of what i do to start a drawing so hope you enjoy have a good one peace out guys